the basic way of skinning. In this movie, I would like to explain how to skin a yellowtail. First, I would like to explain the Uchibiki skinning style, which means skinning toward you, also called Kanto Biki. When you perform Uchibiki with the blade edge, make an incision at the end of the tail until just a little bit before the skin to reduce loss, and then keep the Shinogi angle and insert the blade edge. After you made an incision of the skin big enough to grab it, using the middle part of the blade edge, push it toward the head. Here, the tip is to keep the left hand that holds the skin parallel to the cutting board and make sure the tip of the knife does not lift and keep the shinogi angle and pull the skin to the right. The index of the right hand that holds the knife should be placed on its spine and the thumb should be placed at the base of the heel. By stabilizing well the knife, its tip won't go up and you may beautifully skin the fish. If you did a good skinning, a white membrane remains on the belly part. The skin tend to remain on the tip of the belly as the part of the flesh is higher than the other parts. So if there is skin remaining, cut it off with your knife. Here the tip is to keep the shinogi angle and stabilize the blade edge and skin it until the head. Another tip is to use the middle part of the knife as the tip part of it is curved. This way, the success rate will increase. Next, I would like to explain the sotobiki skinning style, also called kansai biki. When performing the sotobiki, place the tail on your left. Same as the uchibiki, you need to make an incision at the end of the tail to skin it, but this time, you place the flat side of the knife on the cutting board and skin it by preventing the knife going up. Until you get familiar with the skinning, the sotobiki is recommended as it is easier to stabilize the backside of the knife, which is flat, than stabilizing the shinogi angle. Make an incision on the tail part from directly above and when you achieve the skin, you insert the blade edge. After cutting for 2 to 3 cm to prevent the skin slipping from the hand, grab the skin using a cloth. Then, use your index to stabilize the knife. For Sotobiki 2, use the tip of the knife just when you make an incision. When skinning, use the middle part of the knife. With your right hand index, push the knife onto the cutting board and the skin that you are holding with your left hand, stretch it to the left in a parallel way to the cutting board and move it forward and backward. By stretching the skin and moving it forward and backward, the stabilized knife cut the skin from the flesh. When you are not accustomed in skinning, it is recommended to just move the skin and you will be able to skin it well. But once you get used to it, slide the knife too and that way you will have a nice finished result. Here too, same as for the uchibiki, the tip is to stabilize the knife well so the tip does not lift up. When you get familiar, lift the spine 1 mm from the cutting board and this angle will enable you to do not leave flesh on the skin. The disadvantage of the sotobiki skinning style is that, as you have to move the skin, it is not suitable for fish that are bigger than medium size, so it is better to master both skinning styles. In case the skin cuts during the skinning, start the same way from the opposite side head part, and if the skin cuts again, use the tweezers and hold the skin with it, and you restart again from that point. The sotobiki is for people who can success at once because in case you fail, you have to restart. You need a skin margin. The uchibiki, if you can stabilize the knife, you just have to slide it and skin it so this style is suitable for recovery. This is the explanation of the basic way to skin a fish. If you would like to know how to fillet a yellowtail fillet, the basic way of cutting, the basic way of making sushi, please watch other videos. Thank you very much for watching. 最後にこの動画の説明文を見てもらうと東京寿司アカデミーのホームページや体験レッスン海外求人や寿司に関しての情報を発信するメルマガ等のリンクがございます。ぜひ合わせてご覧ください。その他チャンネル登録その他 SNS サイトにもこちらの動画とともにいいねを押していただけると幸いです。ご視聴ありがとうございました。